12 of the strongest, nastiest fragrances you can buy. Half of them are trash. We start today with number 12, Montal Black Aoud from 2007. And all this information on this video is purely for entertainment. I got all the research from emails from you, you know who you are, and reviews, and all sorts of other Facebook groups and polls. I even tested on my own community page like this one. Montal Black Aoud, which everyone likes better than Choco Greedy. But the reason I made the video, I was going to call this one trash. Now, this thing lasts eternally. It lasts 12 hours without a problem. It's got a focus on the rose note and oud. It's a timeless masterpiece. Fragrance enthusiasts and niche lovers, snobs love this fragrance. And it's very difficult for them to go off on fragrances. And coming up, it's very difficult for them to go off on this latent exclusive, but they did very tactfully. And we're gonna talk about that because fragrance lovers are in different levels and this channel likes to go right in the middle of mass appealing and just a little bit up in the niche. And anyway, let's get back to it. I find chocolate greedy a lot more sexier, a lot more wearable, a lot more mass appealing, and you'll get more compliments than this rose and oud, very dark, very gothic. And that's just my opinion. Comment down below yours. Next up, we have Prada Lome. What a gorgeous office fragrance with a focus on the iris note. And the iris in here, personally, it gives me a headache. And I do like the Prada Lome L'Intense for some reason, and the Absolute even way better. This is the original. Comes with the black leather. They also make a low version. This one is the one I would consider trash. It's not actually a trashy fragrance. We all know it's a lovely fragrance. But what I personally prefer and have gotten more compliments on and I feel like it lasts longer, it's called Prada Luna Rosa Black. Every time this goes in my hand, I, it's like an automatic. Even if I'm wearing a fragrance, I just have to spray it. I really want to spray it on me. It smells so good and it lasts so long through the high heat, through wherever. It's clean, sweet fragrance coming out like a Dr. Pepper, like the smell of Dr. Pepper with ice cubes, that soda drink. This is Prada Lunarosa Black. It's cool bottle, lasts eight hours. It's sexy and mass appealing. You see how high this is? It's because I very rarely wear it. It's called Bentley Intense. Pricings have starting to go up on the five, forty, fifty dollars. I want. I love to smell it. I mean, it smells great. Like right now, you got this boozy rum. It focuses on leather, though, you know. And it, when you smell something, it's like. Do you really want to wear that? Like you're stuck with that fragrance for seven, eight hours. Like, do you really want to smell like that? Because most girls that smell this go, ugh, why are you wearing your grandfather's cologne? But it's a great fragrance. It's a masterpiece. I would say that. But if you wanted something a little bit sexier, if you can afford it, 100% Eau de Parfum version, Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Check out this video I made. I battled. Tom Ford Ombre Leather against Dior Sauvage and this thing crushed it. I just spoiled the alert. Tom Ford Ombre Leather lasts 12 hours. It's gorgeous. It just smells effing amazing and there's no comparison to compare a Tom Ford with this. But they both have a focus on leather. They're both delicious. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sure you have some opinions about Bentley Intense. Do you like it? Do you wear it? Please do start a debate down below because that's what this video is about finding out people's opinions and we don't we all know that there's mass appealing guys who just are like hey I want to know what's cool and this thing gets so hyped up and then these dudes that are used to wearing fragrances like Dior Sauvage and then they go and buy this and they're like what the hell excuse my French there the next fragrance I got an email a nasty nasty email from somebody you know who you are Jim I just got burnt. Everyone's talking about Club de Nuit Intense, and I think it sucks. I mean, he wrote me a two-page letter about this fragrance and how he hated it and how everyone hypes it up to last eight hours. Now, the truth of the matter is Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, if you were to be raw and authentic, Club de Nuit Intense lasts six hours. Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, probably seven or eight. There's no doubt about it. He tells me five minutes. Like... And he wants to throw it away and return it. And he said that about some other fragrances. And he praised Chanel. I go, why are you trying to buy some, you know, off-brand garbage then? I mean, this is not, this is an off-brand. I'll be quite honest with you. It's not garbage. It's a great value when you want to smell like this. 
Creative Ventus, which another fragrance, when I put it in my hand, I have to spray it. It's like an automatic reaction. This is far better than this. It smells natural and delicious. And for me, I'm getting 10 hours out of this. I don't know why people go off on it, but that's my skin chemistry. Again, you must realize in different parts of the world, some of these fragrances are really loved because they're so strong, so spicy. Like coming up, we're gonna talk about this one. And people in Dubai or Pakistan, they love strong fragrances like that. Some people love extremely hot, spicy foods. Some people don't, you know? Some people like dark, dark coffee. Some people like medium roast. It's all about your perception of how you wear your fragrances. So let's keep the video going. Another great selection to smell like Creed Aventus would be Mont Blanc Explorer. It's got a beautiful natural opening to it. It smells so mass appealing. It's a designer fragrance that's very moderately priced. Next up, we have Mansera Oud Blue Notes. This is another fragrance aficionados, enthusiasts, loving dream. This is very much a unisex fragrance. And I'll tell you what, this fragrance is considered trash on this video. But in high heat, if you wanted to wear an oud fragrance, it might say oud like that because it's got fake synthetic oud in there, if it even has oud guayac wood or leather or something anyway it dries down powdery it's got a real tons of fruit notes in it it's like weird you see how high this is it's because i never wear it i tested it like three times like it's unwearable yes it's built well yes it lasts long but wearability for me no good but what is wearable this one by mansura cedra boise extremely strong maybe not even as long lasting as that but it's at least 10 hours lasting. It's got this smoky nuance mixed with fruits that reminds me of a grilled pineapple along with leather and a slice of vanilla underneath. Just gorgeous fragrance. Also, it kind of reminds people of Creed Aventus. Leighton, yes, versus Leighton exclusive, no. Now here's how it works. This has apple notes. This is very wearable. This also, you must wait for it to dry down because it starts out with a blast of pepper and it could be hard to wear but if you were looking and had the money to buy one or the other do not buy Leighton exclusive you buy regular Leighton and that's an order like this is how it works this is for people that might be working on Wall Street have $20,000 Balenciaga suits or whatever they're wearing and they're CEOs and they want to command a room and they're maybe they're overweight who knows this thing of uh, I read a review that's so nasty about this but very well done like he he said it so tactfully but the description was so gross that I can't repeat it and it has to do with number two and toilet paper and anyway this has civet in it patchouli leather it's dark mean gross and disgusting but really it's a masterpiece of a fragrance it lasts eternally it projects like a nuclear bomb went off doesn't have the apple note it's actually like take this take out the apple and multiply it by 27 times and you'll get latent exclusive the darker gothic spicier version of latent I don't know what else to say. I just got the bottle for two or three days testing it and read reviews. If you got any experience with Leighton Exclusive that costs even more than Leighton, please do comment below. Here's a little bonus for you. This is not sponsored. It's called This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. If you have trouble sleeping, this has chamomile, vetiver, and lavender in it, and it lasts all night. You spray your sheets your pillows and you go right to sleep and you wake up refreshed for some reason this works and also the chemical in here i looked up because it says 99 percent natural we all know like how could it be all natural i'm in the fragrance and it uses linalol which is also a chemical compound that kind of smells earthy and lavendery and lemony like that so hey i've tried it and i've had like three days in a row of great sleep i'm gonna link it down below you might like to try this product out and for a bonus today, I would love your opinion on this fragrance, Mont Blanc Individuel. What do you think? Is this trash or is this good? That's not one of the strongest, but it's like, is it trash? It's hyped. It's heavily hyped fragrance. It has sandalwood. It's like a raspberry fabric softener type fragrance. It's delicious in the spring. 
it's very easy to wear it took me six months to really enjoy it and sometimes I like it sometimes I don't well, what's your opinion on that and another fragrance Womo Salvatore Ferragamo Yomo and the Sicilians call it Womo and it's just plain it smells so sweet when you spray it it's even difficult for me to wear in 70 degree weather I think it's totally made for winter wear it's very good fragrance I'd like your opinion on that it does last long an eternal blue beast fragrance I have no information on it except for that it's blue it's spicy it's called his highness six and personally I think it's unwearable but probably you who's watching it loves strong enormous scent bubbles you have to wash it off kind of cologne and that's what this is if you enjoyed this video maybe you'll like this video that I recommend and YouTube recommends that video peace and love shout at you